we're going to get into a base now part of what is going to be the deal with this base is I want my lander which is already there to be able to dock with it it's not really necessary to do that uh, I just like to do that and then the Kerbals can just kind of go inside as opposed to having to EVA no real reason for it other than I like it and I built the lander so that it can actually traverse along the ground in very very simple ways so this is the lander this lander as I said is already sitting on the surface and so what I want to do is I want to build a base that this thing can dock with off to the side so I'm gonna throw this right now into an action group so I'm gonna grab me another docking port that one and we're gonna stick it on here and then I'm gonna make that docking port the root part and then I'm going to uh, open up my sub assemblies and I'm gonna grab this and you know what's funny this got me thinking about KSP2 because KSP2 says they made this all simpler as far as being able to take crafts and merge them together and honestly I find it confusing now to be honest like KSP2 that is but then again it could be just that I'm used to this <laughs> um, and I have no, but I'm not played KSP2 all that much and I haven't played it in months I just honestly don't find it that much fun it's beyond just the bugs which I know a lot of them have been squashed at least that's my hearing because I haven't heard or I haven't played it um, but uh, what was I gonna be saying uh, <laughs> but um, it's a, it's a pure sandbox game and I don't find sandbox games that much fun. So I'm very excited for the science upgrade that's coming up sometime in December. And just to make sure people are aware when that science upgrade drops, I will be as soon as I can using this time slot to do a stream in KSP2. Uh, so we'll put this this particular stuff on hold when KSP2 drops or the science upgrade drops for say KSP2. Anyway, let's get started with our base. So I like to build bases in the space plane hangar because I like having the lateral motion to be able to go side by side. So this is the contract for the base. Um, and it's actually a pretty minimalist contract. It just says build a new outpost that has an antenna, docking port, and can generate power and has to support at least five kerbals. That's it. So that's a pretty simple thing to accomplish. I mean, really, all I got to do is go to grab like the. I like actually using this for a base piece. The. Uh, rotate it. There we go the uh, cupola module and then under that put a hitchhiker can make sure oh my god I cannot rotate things to save my life this is upside down there we go and there that's that's got your five Kerbal so that's about it but we're gonna do a little more than just that um, because I also we scouted out a spot that has a high concentration of ore and I want to use it to do some I want to use this base to do resource harvesting and to uh, get all that kind of stuff how long have I been playing KSP I've been playing KSP for over a decade uh, easy uh, I got it pretty much immediately after it became available on Steam uh, in, in uh, way back in its uh, early days uh, so yes I've been playing KSP pretty regularly for a long time <laughs> Okay, so let's build a base to kind of go around this. Now, I'm, I mentioned the lander at the very beginning, so this is my idea. I'm going to grab, go to structure, I'm going to grab a couple of those radial attachment points. Put it on the radial symmetry. Put the snap on. I'm going to snap these, so I want, there we go. I want to put them pretty much right over where the windows are. And then um, I want to put... Again, under structure, structure, silly. I want to put a couple of these fuselages like so. And then a couple of docking ports to form places onto which I can extend upon this base. And then the lander, go back to here. The idea with the lander is I can do this. And the one thing to notice, actually, I actually only want one of these. 
the lander will dock like right here that's the idea let's get rid of the contract it's just in the way so that's the idea is the lander will come in and dock the lander actually has wheels on it so that's to facilitate the ability to kind of scoot in there and dock um and yeah so that's that's kind of what the plan is going to be uh one thing when it came came to uh using the sub assemblies i should have mentioned it while i was doing it noticing this has where the attachment point is there's only one attachment point and it's always that point that you pull off that's why i put the docking port there uh when i made the that okay there we go so let's extend the legs now one thing that is important is that everything kind of stands on the same level when this is going to be sitting on the surface the the spot i scouted out is pretty flat but uh so I don't want things to be on funky angles or anything like that. So I'm going to put four landing legs on this. And what's going to be important, if I scoot this downwards, and I'm going to bring it down to just where the landing legs of the lander are just clipping into the floor. Oh my god, I cannot get it. Why am I? There. Just about there. And then I'm going to use that as a guide for how far to bring this down. So if they were all clipping in the floor about the same amount, that's about right, then, you know, that should work pretty good. Okay, and this is, I'm gonna call this uh, my moon base. Give this a name. There we go. So that is really the base. I kinda don't like this see how the legs are so i want to extend the bottom of this a little bit and um on the thumbnail i actually used one of those uh i used because on the, th the thumbnails i already slap something i always slap something together quick for the thumbnails and then just simply cheat it into position just to make i put something like that there to cover the bottom to make kind of a little skirt this is one of those uh structural tubes but actually, after a little bit of thought, what I want to put is one of these cargo storage units. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. But that extends that down. That gives a lot of cargo space. 2,500 liters of cargo space. Uh, and you'll see why I got that there in just a little bit. Um, I'm not too far off from really having this base completed. It's not going to be much more than what you're seeing. I'm going to build a little bit of a tower on the top like so and maybe like that how tall do i want this to be maybe another one of these sure like that and then on on this tower um there's the electrical demands aren't going to be much but just for looky loose we'll put on some of these ox four l's like so just for electrical generation and oh my gosh like really uh why not use the anchor use the anchor what the uh, the anchor the base nah i'm just gonna have the base sit on the ground that's not a bad idea to use the ground anchor that come yeah but uh that that requires building the base i think doesn't it i i'm, I'm gonna go with what i'm doing <laughs> Can't I adjust each leg after launch? Uh, not the sly... Oh, I can with an engineer. I don't know about the rest of it, but it's... Nope, I'm, I'm going with what I'm doing. It's it's pretty good. Okay, uh, uh, let's light this up a little bit. So, let's see. I'm going to put some... I'll use these ones, the Illuminator Mark IIs. We'll slide them up about here-ish, like four. I'm just thinking... Just to kind of light up the area around this a little bit. Um, the restock mod adds a lovely like pitch thing like that. And you can actually adjust it on site too. That's just great. Um, but uh, if you don't have that, you just have to rotate it with the rotate tool. But I'm thinking that's pretty good. Um, I do have, because I have the simple repaint mod i do have the ability to actually add in some more things like that there that looks all right okay we can turn the lights back off off oh i'm putting the blink on and off dope okay there we go uh oh on the top i should put an antenna or do i yes i am gonna put ah i'm thinking of putting a sky crane on the top of this to uh for the whole deployment purposes let's put the antennas off to the side that's what we'll do 
So communications, Communitron 16s will be fine. We'll just sort of put them like so. Extend them. Roll them up a little bit, so there's a little kind of a going up like that, about 45. We translate them down a smidge. Just so that they're right on where the two girder cross pieces are. Yeah, that works. Ah. Okay, that's that, that, and that. A rotating satellite dish on the top of the tower? Nah, it doesn't need it. <laughs> you could definitely do it, but it's not going to need it. Um, I don't need it for science transmission or anything like that. I'm, I'm not. I, I, I don't care that much about science. I've completed the tech tree. I'm, per, I'm pretty. I'm we're keeping it simple. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I got those lights up there. We need more lights. Um, a little blue light right here by the by the the hatches do that white color that blue and we'll flip it around do one pointing down so the kerbals if they can oh I should put a ladder here too for goodness sakes a little ladder here okay and yeah fun with that and a ladder 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 probably can get away with just one what <clears throat> excuse me oh right side up would be a good idea excuse me for a moment <coughs> <coughs> little frog in the throat I think I can get away with just that little ladder that should work I got lights on the other side I don't want those Whoa. Okay. Uh, remove them from the symmetry and just throw that away. Remove this one from the symmetry. Throw that one away. So I still got the ones that are on the other side. Uh, and then um, maybe a couple of these little, little spotlights. Here maybe. And so it lights up kind of the tubes. You know what I mean? Oh, now I do want the two-way symmetry. Drag them out a little bit. Color them white. Yeah. And do I want to adjust the pitch at all? They're pretty good. I'll leave them. We can pitch them after. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, what I want to do, let's uh, toggle a flag on this one. Toggle flag. There it goes. Um, I want to put another docking port on the back here. And the reason for that, let's just get into structure, is just to keep my options open for future construction I really don't have too much of a plan um, it should be about right I want to get it so it's equal with everything else sure and then a docking port and so if in the future I decide that I'm gonna expand the base I'm not you know I have that option to do that I don't have an immediate use for that um, the immediate thing is off on this side I will do the whole drilling platform and all that stuff but maybe something will come off of here but if I put a docking port that at least gives me the option to do that uh, renames asking about the mods see if you look at the description the in all the mods are listed down there in the description um, I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking. I can turn these off. Lights off. And, um, you know, maybe some blinky lights at the top. Blinky red lights, so, you know, airplanes won't crash into us. You gotta, with it. You gotta think about those things. Okay. 
Gray, red. Blink on. All right, that's good enough. So that's good enough for, I think, our base module for our moon base. Uh, it satisfies the conditions for the contract. Let me just look at the contract again just real quick. Has to have antenna, docking port, can generate power. Can, oh, I should put some batteries on this thing. Uh, the output must be fully assembled when launched and can hold five Kerbals. And yeah, that's the whole thing. So I do want... To be honest, I probably could got away without the cupion module because two Kerbals fit in this and once this these two things dock together, that's six Kerbals. That would probably have satisfied the contract, but I'll go with what I got. Um, Batteries, batteries, batteries. Where can I sneak... I can, you know, it might be the simplest thing. Grab one of these Z4000s. There on the bottom. Then I don't have to think about it anymore. I think, yeah, there will be a mining unit on this thing, too, but we'll, we'll start with just this. So, I think, I think, I think, I think this is the plan right here. So, as I said, the lander's already there, so I'm going to just chuck that away. Like so. And then we're going to take this over to uh, vehicle assembly, and we're going to build a rocket and everything else that needs to go around with it. So let's start with those, start with this, retracted, uh, retract the antennas. Retract the solar panels. Probably get some action groups going here. Let's see, action group zero, we will extend the antennas with those. And we'll also extend our solar panels, and we'll do that once we get into space. So extend solar panels, cool. All right, now, one thing about this is this is a pretty awkward shape. I could do a really huge fairing around, but it's it's going to be kind of wacky. So what I'm thinking, she probably wants to go up this way. What I'm thinking is, um, this is why I put the cargo container on it, is actually to take these off. And then when I get there with a Kerbal, um, we'll put we'll put these arms on and we'll get our engineer to put them on. So that's kind of what my idea is. Now, I, I know the docking ports will fit in here without a problem, but I'm a little bit... Oh, that only showed one. I grabbed the one here because of the two, but there's only one there, so I better... Uh, best to fix that. I need another Clampatron there. Uh, I can already tell this isn't going to work, is it? Oh, and, and, oh, okay. I don't think those structural parts you have the ability, like the, the, the tubes. I'm pretty sure I cannot. Cargo part. This part cannot be placed into a storage container. So what I'll do instead is stick it on the side. That'll at least bring down the diameter a bit. Actually, we can probably do it here. I don't think that's an unreasonable thing to do. It's like, you know, um, some Kerbal has, uh, they're strapped on there, and then the Kerbal's job is going to be to connect this. But what this immediately does is make this a lot more, a lot more streamlined. Now, we need to land it. Uh, so I'm going to build... A sky crane on the top. That's my standard way to do it. And then the, we'll detach the sky crane when this is all done. I know the blinky lights do need the energy. It's like, it's it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> do I plan on playing lunar multiplayer, I'm being asked. Uh, I am not a multiplayer guy. I am, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I've played so few multiplayer games in my day because generally uh, I don't like people that much. That sounds awful. But I really, I'm not, I'm not a very social person and uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's just what it is. Okay, I need to build a sky crane. This needs to land about 725 meters per second. I'm going to budget for the landing. I definitely want... Let's scale this up to a 2.5 me. I just got me a feeling I'm going to need to scale up a bit. So I'm going to scale up to a 2.5 meter size. Uh, I'm going to put on some advanced reaction wheels. 
because uh, there's no reaction. Well, are there reaction wheels in this thing? There might be. There is. Toggle torque. Okay, there are reaction wheels in this. How powerful are those reaction wheels? This will tell me whether I want big ones or small ones on the top. Uh, there we go. Uh, how powerful are the reaction wheels in the Kupina module? They are, they are, they are. Because reaction wheels in KSP tend to be pretty, pretty good. Uh, they're 9 kilonewton meters of force. And so if I go to command and control, I have the regular inline there, another 15. Um, but I could just go with these guys. I might just go with these little guys. I'm sure that'll be fine. We'll give her a test. Make sure I'm not making a mistake. So I'm doing that, doing that, doing that. And I'm going to put on... A 2.5 meter fuel tank on the top. These are always in a non-sensible order. There is the one I'm looking for. And probably some cubic octagonal struts, four-way symmetry. Get those engines coming out. This is kind of the idea. It's gonna have to have a and then, oh, it'd be lovely. Let's actually try it. Can I get away with four spider engines? They feel a little wimpy to me. So there we go. Uh, I do have Kerbal Engineer installed. It's one of my, that's only 261 meters per second and only 0.14. Okay, we are definitely gonna have to go bigger than this. So what we'll do, let's go with, Organize these by mass. Some of these Oscar Bs. That's what I was thinking about. And then another pair of Oscar Bs. Like so. And another pair of Oscar Bs. And then we'll go with the bigger Twitch engines. I want a radial engine with some gimbling for all of this. That's 1,005 meters per second. Oh my gosh. 1,065 according to Kerbal Engineer. Not sure where... Oh wait, this is still probably on... There we go, now they agree. Uh, 0.676 meters per second, but you know what? I can scale this down a little bit because I don't need that much. 902 is still a lot. We'll put some structure around here. Okay, that's 601. I need a little more than that, but what we'll do... Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. Uh, again, back into structure. Let's get... Shoot. I don't think that there is no part, no. I was looking for a little, like, this kind of part, but from going from to a 0.6, but there isn't. But maybe just, like this. I need to extend this out a bit. Okay, so thrust awaits fine for landing on the moon. Uh, delta V, you know what? Oh, I got it. Wait, I don't know why I'm worried about this. No, this has just got to do the last landing bit of it. Um, it doesn't have to do anything more than that. What am I worried about? I'm worried about nothing. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna stick with this. I can. Uh, there's gonna be something on the bottom of this. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What? What else? What else? What else? Another structure part on the top. An antenna on the top. Oh, a battery. Always forget the batteries. I'm really bad for that. Battery on the top. Pro body. All these things I'm always forgetting. Pro body. Cause this thing's gonna have to fly autonomously. Why am I organized that way so I can't find anything? We'll just put a little little octo on the top and then an antenna. So the idea and actually put the antenna onto an action group. Toggle that antenna. In fact, don't toggle the other ones now. I don't need them. There we go. So the idea is that this is what performs the landing. Then we detach and it scoots off. 
turn down the ejection force on that. This scoots off, and uh, that that is that. We still got to build a fairing around this, which is going to be a fun job. Actually, for that reason, I might leave that top node. Might leave that top node free just for exactly that reason. Okay. Hello, Antizap. I will say as well, while I'm building, I do have a tough time when it comes to checking uh, the chat. So if I do miss you in the chat, please do not take it personally. Um, I think this is looking okay. <laughs> it's kind of ugly, but it's okay. All right. So I got, where am I? My, <clears throat> excuse me, 590. So, if I can build a stage under it, I did work out some of this ahead of time, that comes out to about 28, 50, 60, 70, something in that range, then I'll have a stage that can get it all the way from Kerber's upper atmosphere to the moon, start the landing, and then this guy can just finish off the landing. That's going to be the idea. So, 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 coupling, 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 I need uh, the bigger one, don't I? The TD-12, this is 2.5 down here on the bottom. Um, I'm going to build the fairing from the top down, so I'm not worrying about that right now. Think, well... Might be easier to build it from the bottom up. Yeah, I think it will be. So let's, um, let's think, let's think. Let's then go to a different decoupler. The TD-12 decoupler size. Actually, go to the 18. Um, the reason for this is so that there's some clearance there for a fairing. Actually, go back. No, and then I got some tubes. Tubes, tubes, tubes. All these parts I always forget that I have. The 18... Oh, that's, that's lovely. And then we'll go with a 2.5 meter fairing. And so that fairing, see that gives a little bit of clearance for the fairing. If, if what's on the fairing goes right to the edge, often the fairing has some issues with that. Ooh, that's a tight fit. Right up, is it clear? It's clearing all of that, look at that, it's lovely. Might have to come out a little bit around these twitches. that and then we'll come in round her off a little bit at the top oh why aren't you close there we go it's not awful <laughs> we'll see I think that's okay. okay so there's our fairing um Let's go six sides, lots of force, clamshell deploy. Okay, um, now, 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 now I need to build a stage underneath that. So again, I'm looking for around 2850, 2860, 2870, something like that. So I'm in 2.5 meter land, so we'll go to the 2.5 meter parts, maybe like that, and optimistically put a poodle under that, and we'll see what we get. So I'm looking at the, oh my god, that's a ton already, 34, that's huge, that's huge, and uh, more than adequate amount of throw, I was thinking I was going to have to go bigger, oh my gosh, I don't have to even go as big as I did. So 2850, maybe one of these fellas, 2950, hmm. A little bit yeah it's too much what was it before that was too much really don't want to take out fuel but well I could do this just want to sneak on a little more fuel 25 and want more eh. Eh. Volleyballs. Wow. This is growing at. What if I grab these again? Oh, eight's going to be too many now. Yep. Yeah. So we'll sneak that down. Try 
that four? 20, I, th I like this. This is good. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll try and make this look a little better. Snap off, see if I can get these four-way symmetry ones right in between these bigger ones. We'll color everybody silver. You know what? We'll live with this. I, I think uh, usually I end up tucking these in, but I think I might just I might just do that. We'll push it up through the atmosphere one way or another. <laughs> okay, a little bit of texturizing here. Sure, 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 sure. Glad you can make it for, uh, to the stream there, Michael. Okay. Uh, sure. I think it's I think it's doable. So there we go. That's all good. I like the TWR on this. It's really good. Actually, wait. It's a lot higher than I think it is because it's counting the weight of the fairing. Oh my gosh. I can take some of these off. I was counting the weight of the fairing. You always want to pay attention to where the fairing is in your staging. This fairing will get staged right around at the same time this engine will get engaged. But this is assuming you're carrying the fairing the whole way, which is not right. So you want to put the staging of the fairing in an appropriate place. I'm suddenly looking at this going, this is not nearly as bad as I was thinking. So maybe six of these, oops, I copied it for a dumb reason. So I can take some of these off. That's cool. 2866 there, I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving that. We'll go with that right there. Kind of like the look what it, what it was before, but we'll go with that. Playing with different options. Yeah, we'll go with this, go with this, go with this. Maybe make this orange. Does that go orange? It does. I'm good. I'm good. Here, we'll make we'll make that tube orange too. Yeah. And I don't know if I want to make the fair. Sometimes too much orange just gets silver. Okay, now we'll, we'll you know what? Black and white. Black and white. Black and white on the fairing. Black and white on the fairing. There we go. All right. Uh, okay. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think that looks pretty good. Yep. Okay. Now what we got to do is build just a booster underneath this to get about another this twenty eight sixty. Yeah, pretty good. So another twenty five, twenty six hundred on the bottom stage, and I think I'm good. This isn't getting as big as I was worried it was going to get. TD dash twelve. A Jumbo 64. This is always my default. And then I'll start playing and then a mainsail. So often that ends up being the bottom stage. Yeah, I want this to be about 20, a little more than that, but plenty, plenty, plenty of thrust. So that's nice. So it just put more fuel on it. 20, a little more fuel than that. One of these fellas. One of these fellas, one of these fellas. Yeah, that should do it. That should do it. That should do it. Got a lot of fuel. You know what? It never hurts to go a little bit bigger. I have a tendency to be really prideful of like just getting it right, but you know what? Go a little bigger. Why not go a little bigger? I got. The, I can handle the thrust. Why not just go a little bit bigger? Okay, so that is looking like me rocket there. Boot on that. Uh, let's keep this all white. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. There. Uh, some some fins on the bottom. The little tiny ones. Oh, I should sneak a sneak a reaction wheel in here. Probably gonna need it. Advanced reaction wheel. All right. Uh, you like the silver fairing back there? Says Fonz. This one, uh, the silver one. I can go with the silver one. You want the silver? You got the silver. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah. Launch clamps. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm really close here. Okay. Let's fix up our staging because it's going to be a mess. Do that. Do that. Uh, this will get staged at the same time as that right there uh adjust the launch twr around there we go 1.35 that will do fine 
Um, bum, 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 bum. No Kerbals aboard, right, please? Louie, get that. Uh, don't need anybody flying this thing. And, um... I feel like I'm... I, oh, oh, yeah. Let's take the fairing out of the staging. And then we will stage the fairing with an action group. That way I can stage that fairing where I want. It's not dependent on where it sits in the staging diagram. But otherwise, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're going to save this. And... Yeah, nothing stopping me. Let's do it. Let's do it.